Hi Cantors, welcome to your reading with me. Thank you for all joining me here today and um, I hope you've been really well. Welcome to all the new subscribers, it's been loads. Thanks so much guys for clicking the subscribe button. Make sure you do if you haven't already. So, we're starting off with don't focus on who wants me, I want you. All right, so their attention is very much on you, regardless of who may be around. That's what they're saying, don't pay attention to it. Hmm. Okay, a big bunch just came out here. Okay, you really are the best thing that has ever happened to me. Well, I guess that explains why their attention is on you. Um, now, they may be in some sort of karmic relationship. Obviously, they don't compare to you. They don't match up to you. But this could this focus, right, about, you know, um, who wants them? It, it doesn't have to be that they're in a relationship per se. It just could be they get a lot of attention on social media or something like that. But you're the one who stands out and you're the one that, um, you know, is unique and the best thing that has ever happened to them. I've been thinking about proposing to you. So clearly, I mean, they're thinking like long term goals here commitment um you know i guess <laughs> you stand out as the best thing that's ever happened to them so obviously um that does make sense that you're the one they would think of um proposing to and kind of locking this relationship down telepath telepathically communicate with me so they I mean, they just like feeling your energy around, I feel like. So you could be talking to them at the moment, but they still want this. So it's like obsessively kind of um, wanting to feel you. They pick up on your messages, you know, so that may be confirmation for some of you. Um, but some of you may be in non-communication and there's some sort of issue where you guys can't talk at the moment. Um, but that's what they're asking you to um, reach out that way energetically. Um, also, guys, I've got to get say at the start, but um, I put a little thing on my community just asking about if anyone wants me to do singles readings, which I never do normally. So if you're interested in that, um, please let me know in the comments. I have inner childhood wounds. I feel like they're quite a fragile person. Um, this person. So I'm getting the word defensive. They may come across as quite defensive to you at times. Some sort of self preservation, your know, protection. It doesn't have to be a Cancerian, but I, that's the picture I'm seeing. Someone with like a, a, an outer kind of armor. Um, around them. I'm not the same person that you remember, right? So, well, let's see where this goes. But I'm hoping, you know, this person's changing for the better, obviously, and kind of growing. I need more time to figure things out. So, yeah, okay, they're obviously going through quite a big change. Um, you know, like a metamorphosis changing. Um, so that does take time, obviously. Um, so yeah, I mean, delays and and kind of um, time going on. Like sometimes, you know, it doesn't have to be a bad thing. It's for the growth of them and you. Okay, so just need a little bit more time here. You want them to come forward, you know, knowing what they want and peeled and not kind of wishy-washy. So this is actually a good thing, if you like, taking their time to make some sort of approach to you. Um, so lurking still, I've looked you up online to see what you've been up to. Okay, so yeah, I don't really feel like you guys are talking, um, hence why they're like, oh, please send me telepathic messages. You know, I, I, I may not feel like I'm ready to talk right now, or there may be, some other issues stopping the two of you talking, but I'd love to kind of hear, like, I hear what you're saying, you know. So, and, you know, furthermore, um, 
this is why they're kind of stalking your social so much as well um because they miss you obviously um they want to see what you're up to and yeah i don't feel much kind of communication at the moment so they're just they're just keeping up to date with you really it really does feel like more of a pause between the two of you as the card says just needing more time to kind of process things but the intention of picking things up again and see it's easier to just stay away right now all right so you know it's less scary for them i guess but i i feel like it is important that they do actually stay um away just now just because um you want them like as i said mentally kind of clear with what they want clear with their intentions you know clear about who they are and being authentic okay so let's get some heart oracles we're going into the heart space the feelings you know the untold truth of the heart um i don't think i mentioned it at the beginning as well but the personal readings if you want one um are around about 30 minutes so like 25 to 30 minutes um just depending on what messages come out you know um i may feel like 27 minutes it's kind of all kind of concluded but you know i won't like stop the reading if it's at 30 and i'm still saying stuff i go over the time hmm better off this was exactly what i just said about the clear head space getting things into perspective more they're starting to do that they're already on that path of kind of evolution okay with their mind um but you know just not quite to the point where they need to be yet but you know they've started this journey so okay looking positive so far the chase Preparation, oh, relentless pursuit and victory. Ha. Huh. See, I feel like once this person gets to the point where they're like, okay, I figured everything out. I'm thinking clearly. I know how to kind of approach this relationship. Um, you know, just I feel ready. I actually feel like they're going to be um, very much like chasing you. So... They may be the runner just now, but then like the tables turn and they chase, okay? They want victory with you. Um, you know, they, they want this relationship with you. They just weren't ready at the time. But I guess, you know, that's why they're getting thoughts about marriage um, here, okay? And I'm getting like, it may be for some of you that this is what this person does to kind of prove to you that they are serious this time about your connection. Um, you know, what their intentions are. So they would propose, um, yeah, to make their intentions clear. Well, that's weird. I realize I haven't picked all the cards up there. Let me shuffle these in. Okay. Yeah, see a lot of purging, healing going on with this person just now. So they're still going through that process of, of cleaning. Elusive, intangible, dishonest, tricky. Um, well, they may have been dishonest with you in the past. I feel like this is more now of this person being like elusive. Like you don't really know what's going on with them. They're kind of out of sight just now um yeah either like you're you know you haven't been talking to them at all or or seeing like very little of them or something and like very much kind of hermit mode is what i'm feeling um yeah but doing a lot of work like behind that kind of smoke screen i don't know why i'm getting like almost um like they may have been a shadow of the person that they are really supposed to be in a way, if that makes sense. And they're kind of evolving to the person that, you know, they should be. I, I don't know, just some sort of kind of, mm, 
maturing going on fantasy dreams fairy tale imagination and they obviously really want to like telepathically communicate with you um so they may be doing that through dreams so some of you um may have been having very vivid dreams about them sexual dreams about them i feel like they have that with you um a lot of <laughs> fantasizing going on sexual fantasies um and but also like imagining what your future would be like like to be married to and things like that so it's not just all that kind of lusty energy uh, but this for me is um the knight of wands card so you may be dealing with a fire sign or you're a fire sign um or you know there it's just a very passionate connection take it how it resonates my loves yeah they're doing a lot of like kind of just standing back just now, um, trying to get to the headspace that they need to be in. Yeah, just hermit mode. You're not really seeing a lot, but behind the scenes, there's a lot of growth going on and there's a lot of just constant like thinking about you, dreaming about you, fantasizing about you and obviously stalking your socials. I've said it before and I'll say it again. They could be using accounts you've never heard of, so you don't realise they're watching you, or, you know, asking people to look at your socials for them or something. Okay, so we've got King of Pentacles. Hmm. Working hard, working on themselves, uh, but could be very focused on business just now. Um, yeah, this could be a businessman or woman. Um, now, I, I kind of feel like, yeah, they may earn a lot of money as well, but even if they don't, but they're just grafters, they really work hard. I don't know, they may not be in an industry where um, there's a lot of money to be earned or something, but they're very hard working. But some of them, you know, um, do have that abundance with them as well. The justice Libra energy so I mean this goes along with kind of what what we're getting this this person wanting to come forward correct to you when they do you know when they do reconnect they want to okay I'll just hold back just now and be that king of pentacles stable um and just very kind of loyal, dedicated, right? But also um, wanting to right a wrong with you, you know, make some sort of peace with you, justice. Um, I, somebody here could be a lawyer, I'm getting, as well. But yeah, um... Wanting to make something up to you. Come correct, basically. Come correct. And getting that, that more of a balance as well. Mentally. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of drawn to this better off card for a second. Happiness. They just may not have been a very happy person within themselves um, before. So they could deal with depression or something. Ooh, we've got the moon, Cancer Pisces energy, revealing something to you. Uh, because right now, obviously, a lot is hidden from you. Okay, let me shuffle again. Sorry, it was a weird shuffle. Two of Cups. All right, it's my I love you card. We love you. Two of Cups is very much mutual attraction. So this is not one sided at all. Okay, even the scales. This is this is equal. Um, you may have feared it was one sided, but it's not. <laughs> Again, the Two of Cups can be um, big surprises like proposals. So this is what I'm saying. This person when they come forward when they kind of 
open up to you, reveal what's been going on with them um, or what their intentions are. <laughs> they may, you know, get down on bended knee for some of you. Um, and, you know, and that feeling of wanting to sweep you off your feet. Um, but yeah, they know you're the one. You are their person. So Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, could be a Leo here as well. Now, what did we get here? Yeah, see, you're the best thing that's ever happened to them. And nobody else compares to you. You are their two of cups, you know. Ooh. Working on something, yeah. I feel like they're very kind of business minded, um, you know, and as many masculine energies do, male or female person, but masculine energy, a lot of them to distract themselves from like thinking about you, um, you know, or, or kind of tapping into any feelings, they can throw themselves into their career as a bit of distraction. But I kind of feel this person, working hard to prove themselves to you okay um investing in your connection so as i said it may be some kind of grand gesture um just to kind of show you they're serious you know this time underneath that four of wands so Twin flame energy in the house. Um, could be soulmate connection though. Um, yeah, I've got soulmate here. And and really wanting to put the work into your relationship. And again, marriage coming out here. I feel like this person, although it may have been a struggle so far, you know, and there's been blocks here along the way. Um they are very serious about you and and they're very um commitment minded when they think of the future with you you know it's all coming out commitment <laughs> the emperor um and again i feel this is someone who's very passionate about you um, the embodiment of all the kings showing up, you know, 80s energy. Remember, I mentioned about the armour around this person, because actually they're quite fragile underneath. And, um, you know, thinking about Cancerian, like the crab, the shell, I also did think about the, the emperor with this armour on. Okay, so there's someone that may even appear quite cocky, a lot of bravado about them but actually you know inside they're quite fragile um i feel this is someone who needs quite a lot of space they're quite independent um do you know what i'm getting um avoidment attachment someone who kind of um runs if they start to feel attached you know they don't like to feel um trapped in a way but yeah, you know, so avoidment attachment. But again, holding that world in their hand, thinking of the future. Um, hmm. Because they're taking so much time out to like work on themselves, so obviously you must be doing a lot of work and, you know, thinking about your person changing and, as well, because these readings reflect your thoughts. Um, so because a lot of work's going on between the two of you, you know, internal work, um, they're going through, you know, I said maturing and just a real kind of growth in who they are as a person, right? So, and, and kind of, you know, learning a lot about themselves and switching up their thinking, changing their perspective, a lot of enlightenment between uh going on with them just now so yeah things just could be on a pause between the two of you there's no movement so far pisces energy Ooh, what was that <laughs> five pentacles in reverse and i don't often take reversals but it seems fitting for this reading 
Um, so, you know, this person has kind of detached themselves and left you out in the cold. It's for this work that they were doing, though, you know, um, internally. And I just do feel like there's a lot of focus on their career, um, you know. Um, so they may have made you feel out in the cold, kind of rejected, but now they want to um, return, you know. They want to come from out of the cold um, and put this effort into the relationship so i feel like there's going to be a shift in focus from always working to actually putting that kind of effort into your relationship so let's see what the romance angels have to say so yeah they may be just quite distant just now but <clears throat> at some point they're very much going to be in pursuit of you, chasing you. Um, okay. Oh, guys, also, if you haven't followed me on TikTok and Instagram, the links are in the description box. Just click them um, and it will take you straight to my pages so you don't get scammed by anyone because there's so many scammers. Oh, and thank you to everyone who has liked, subscribed, left me a comment. Let me know about the singles thing shared or oh, just a reconciliation there too you know so so far we've got pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you in a way i, I feel two things about this um i like i feel this person getting a lot of signs from the universe about you maybe seeing your name everywhere um or people that look like you or something but also i feel like it's um a sign to hold back for now. So like, they may have rushed into things with you before and it's just all kind of false starts. I feel multiple, right? So um, this time they're trying to hold themselves back, you know, caution here, wait till you are someone that's going to be dependable and someone that's going to be, you know, staying around. Okay. Woo. Oh my god! Engagement! Okay, so I mean there's an actual engagement for someone here, definitely. Um, but your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So whatever you are before, it's shifting up a gear. But there's definitely some proposals happening here for a few of you. Passion told you. I mean, they really fantasise about you all the time, you know. Um, I mean, it's making me feel quite hot doing this reading. <laughs> um, because this person, I don't know, you can do something to this person, you know. You make them weak. And um, <laughs> past life relationship, you've known each other before, you know. The two of cups. The four of wands that's come out here, there's just an undeniable bond between the two of you. You know, you have known each other in a past life and um, you will never let go of each other. You know, even just energetically just now. Um, so I'm going to leave it here. I hope this resonated for you guys watching. Um, 